Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before or welcome back if you watch my videos and if you do I thank you so so much. I love to upcycle clothes and turn thrifted items into fun edgy pieces and I sold for many many years. Now I just do tutorials on here. I'm monetized on YouTube so I still can make money doing what I love and teaching you the things I've learned over the years. We are going to cut up a bunch of t-shirts today and make some fun summer tops. Let's get started. Okay, so real quick, these pants I have a tutorial for and I'll put the link in my description. And I also have another t-shirt cutting uh, video tutorial and I will put the link to that in my description as well. This is a size large t-shirt. I am going to cut on the outside of that collar, that little band. I'll cut on the outside very close to it and curve it right down to underneath the armpit. Then I'm going to give that a little stretch. Now I'm going to crop it and make ties. And I want mine cropped 11 inches up from the bottom. You crop yours wherever you want. Now I am just going to make a cut along the side, about three inches in from the side, three or four inches, up to that 11 inch mark. I marked it with a piece of chalk over here. Now I am just going to curve it and cut straight across to that mark. And now, this side I want cut open on that seam. Some t-shirts don't have a seam, but mine does, so I'll just follow along that and cut that side open. Okay, so I just put it on my mannequin and simply going to tie a double knot right here. And that is it. How fun is that? Okay, so I have this cute little shirt, and this doesn't fit me. It's going to fit my mannequin, so you use whatever side you need. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut the collar, because I want it to come kind of off the shoulders, kind of down on here a little bit. Okay, so this is a super small neck hole. They're all going to be different, so it's hard to say exactly how much to cut on yours. Some are kind of big and all you have to do is cut this band off and it will come off the shoulders. Mine, I'm going to have to go about two finger widths outside that collar and then I'm going to cut it down to just below the collar and back out another two inches on the opposite side. And I'm going to give it a good stretch and test it on my mannequin and see if that's right. Okay, so the neckline's just right. Now I'm just going to cut that little band off the edge of the sleeve here. And I'll just cut it all the way around. And then I'll do the same to the opposite sleeve. And now what I want to do is just make the sleeves fringy. And so I will cut just some strips all the way up to that seam, but not through the seam. And I'm cutting mine about quarter to half an inch wide. Now that I have those strips cut on the sleeves, I'm just going to give them a little tug individually. And that makes them nice and skinny and fringy looking. So I'll just take a minute and get all those pulled. Okay, now I'm just going to cut the sides open and I will just go next to my seam. There's a seam right here and I'll cut very close 
to the seam but not on the seam. And then when I get the one side cut, I'm going to go back and you can still see that seam. I don't want that. I'm just going to cut that off. And some of my fringes will go bye-bye, couple. <laughs> and now while I'm cutting, before I do anything with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut that band off the bottom. And I'll do that on the front and the back. Okay, once I have the sides cut open, I will make sure they're nice and lined up. And now I'm going to go just under that arm seam, that armpit, and I am just going to make cuts about an inch and a half long and about three quarters to one inch wide. And I will cut that all the way down the t-shirt. Now I'm going to give each one of those a good tug to make little fringes. Okay, so now we're just going to tie them together on the sides. Let me bring this in. And just super simple. You just take one from each side and you tie it together. Now, this is a great trick if you have a really boxy t-shirt that you want to be more form-fitting. Cut these strips a lot deeper and then that pulls it together when you're tying it. All right, I'll get the rest of this tied and then I have one more thing to do. By the way, I'm tying these in a double knot. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is line up the bottom. I want to make fringes on the bottom as well. And so I just line that up nicely and I am just going to make long cuts. I'm making mine uh, about four inches, I would say, long. And I'm going to go about a quarter inch apart. Now you can make these as long as you want. You can make them all the way up to the graphic have more belly showing, whatever you want. So I'll just get these cut and then I'll stretch and pull those out too, like I did all the other fringes. Okay, because of the way it's hitting my mannequin, I decided to go up a little bit higher. So I'm just taking each one of these and I'm just cutting up, cutting up a little higher. And then when I'm all done doing that, I'm going to take them and give them a little stretch like that. Okay, so you can leave the side like it is, like that, or you can just cut that off below one of those knots. And I cut mine right there. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Okay. So here it is. Wouldn't that be fun for like a festival or a concert? It's a fun movement. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to make a cute halter top. And what I do to start, lay my t-shirt out nice and flat. And from the side of this collar, the outside, down to the armpit, I'm just going to cut sort of a straight line here. Then I'm going to go over and do the exact same thing to the opposite side. Okay, so now I'm just going to crop it and you can crop yours high as high or low as you want. I want to keep this whole graphic so I'm just going underneath these words and cutting straight across. Okay, so now that it's cropped, I'm going to flip it over to the back and I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see this better. I am going, so this 
neckline has a band that goes around it. I am going to cut off the back of that collar. But I am going to keep it. So now this is just open like this. And what we have is a piece to go around the neck here to make the halter. Okay, so this is loose and cut from when we cut the sides, but it's still attached right here. I am going to cut a straight line across the back and cut that floppy piece off and make it like that. Now we just have it like a band here. And now what I'll do is, you can cut it straight across as, if you want, but I'm going to cut mine at an angle. And I just wanna cut that in half, basically. And now that is open. And I'm going to give these a good stretch. Okay, so that neck hole, I'm just, you just slip over your head and tie it in the back. And you have an easy, quick little halter top. Thank you so much for watching.